came in a bit hot again. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what's called the West Cell Split. <laughs> it's got one foot on the starboard bench and one foot on the port bench. Nice execution here. Do you like my, the, my assembly of colours today? Uh, the, the official colours of the um, Olympic West Cell Split team. Yes, it is. <laughs> the uh, yeah, tiger striped blue and grey socks going onto a grey and pink um, Olympic pants. And of course the um, sailing top. And very a good. Yeah. <laughs> so, very colour coordinated today. I'm yeah. um, just <laughs> perfect. Top yep. notch. Well executed here with the to toes pointing up perfectly. Yeah, yeah. 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 You but like you like them that way more or down? They in, should be pointing up. straight back, and that'll give you the highest score, I think. And oh, 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 this way, this way. No, it's backwards to the story. Oh, yeah. This way. No, that way. Uh, that way. Yeah. Uh, that's the highest that's score. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I think that'll give you. I reckon the judges will give that a 9.6 or something. <laughs> Very stable position. Exactly. I can just sit here up straight and just yes. have coffee and make stuff. Yeah, make stuff. <laughs> and here we are on the spinning car again. It was meant to be east, but it's more like southeast. Um, and we're sailing from Goldsmith. Goldsmith Island, where we find a lot of gold. Yes. <laughs> and we learn beautiful. how to be in Goldsmiths. Yes. Um, and we seem to be underneath the only really dark cloud. Yes. It's like in the Simpsons. And Ben is going to, to show you quickly his new invention. It's not an invention. Yeah. He's setting up the tiller pilot to run over the wind vane so it's got little stress. And this is just setting it up as a bit of a prototype and sorting out which ropes want to catch where and what it needs to do and if it works and all that sort of stuff. Um, and it's currently now doing quite well on the spinnaker. And we're doing 5.7 knots. Yeah. Okay. And we're looking for a new anchorage that's protected. Here we go. And just before you chastise me for having such noisy pulleys and everything, I just greased it all a bit. So it sounds a lot better now. Here we are in the next perfect anchorage. We have two dilemmas. One is it's a bit of a wave setting in, isn't there? But the wind is meant to change. Mm -hmm. Conditions meant to get better. Mm -hmm. And the other is that we're both hungry and want to have lunch. <laughs> but it's just too beautiful to look away. It's like in... Like that famous question, to be or not to be? <laughs> <laughs> Well, to, lunch or not to lunch? To, 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 to look stay. Or to, to not or not to stay. Yeah. yeah. I think we'll weather this one out and try our best here, eh? Yeah. I think turn. we're going to stay a couple of hours yeah. and then we have another um, backup anchorage just up around the yeah. corner. But if the if the winds turn slightly more easterly and the swell dies down, then tomorrow yeah. normally perfect. this would be perfect. Yeah. 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 And this is actually no worse than the last anchorage, really. No, not really. It's just yeah. a little bit more choppy with the waves, wind waves yeah. that yeah. come with a kind of short, yeah. yeah. 
but we are the yeah. only one here. Yeah. We watched the catamaran come in and do literally 180 and get out. Yeah. And get up and go out. So that was interesting. But look at the color. Uh, aquamarine. Yes, yeah, magnificent, isn't it? So we came into this beautiful anchorage, had a wonderful evening with stargazing and nice and peaceful. And then the next day, this happened. We were bombarded with motorboats that all anchored right on top of us. And this guy here is like two boat lengths away. And then he runs his generator all morning and evening. I just do not understand this. At night they all turn on the blue lights. It's very strange. But I hope they enjoy it. But for us the anchorage is getting too busy and this is too full. We need to head to more secluded anchorages. And there should be a few more out there. Morning. Hello. <laughs> what are we doing? Well, we've left um, the anchorage of Chaw Island mm -hmm. and we're now tacking into the wind, heading up to the Whitsunday Island or even a bit further than that, depending on how this goes. Mm -hmm. and we've got the tide running against us, mm -hmm. um, supposedly 10 knots of wind. Mm -hmm. um, and we're on the full sail and it's just absolutely magnificent. <laughs> Beautiful sailing. It's just perfect. There's the helmsman. This little game going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guessing how how many knots the wind speed is. <laughs> yeah. what, what do you think? 
predicted was what six maximum six eight. to eight we <laughs> thought we'd be paddling up <laughs> up against the tide or standing still <laughs> and what did you just do well oh we've got the first reef and then we're just getting wet oh well i think we just need to trim a little maybe yeah i think it's time for the second reef even though we just put the first one in all righty so you reckon what uh um, I reckon we're well above the 15 and if I'm thinking of the second reef we're close to the 20 I think. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Let's keep on guessing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, off to trim. What's the verdict on this anchor spot, Dominica? Oh, I just don't know. Just don't know? Yeah, I just don't know. What is it? The water is too turquoise or the rocks too yeah, beautiful? It's, it's, or? Just, it's just the colors are just way too bright. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. The intensity of the beauty is just so overwhelming. Yeah. It's absolutely magnificent. It's got it all. And it's not even too deep. What is it? It's Nara Inlet, isn't it? It's Nara Inlet. Okay. And we're in six and a half meters water, so it's really nice. It's balmy. Balmy. Mm.
There was about 35 boats in here last night. So it's really quite crazy. Just too full. Beautiful, but too full. Same anchorage, about 10.30, and it's just emptied out completely. It's the most beautiful time of day in here, and there is no one around at all. There's no boats in the back. It's just incredible how transient it is. I'm just amazed. Amazing place, eh? Yes. It's hot. Drinking hot cups of tea. In what? 80% humidity? <laughs> yes. And what? 28, 30 degrees? Oh, it feels like it. Hi, Skipper Ben. Hello. Hi, so what did you say? What's the wind doing? Well, it was zero just a couple of minutes ago, and now it's picked up to a very light, gentle breeze. It's almost imperceptible. Mm -hmm. But it's just amazing because she just she's moving straight away. I mean, from sort of just drifting on the tide, we're now doing 3.1, 3.2 knots okay. exactly on course, uh, with the side going across our course, so there's no tide effect. Okay. And it's just amazing how unbelievably nice and well she sails in these light airs. It's just really incredible. Mm. Surprised? I am surprised. I really am. Every time again, she's just. You know, they have a reputation for not being good in light air and being too heavy and what have you. But I mean, we're doing 3.2 knots, and I'd call this winds, I don't know, five knots at the most. It's, mm. it's bugger all. <laughs> I mean, there's still glassy patches everywhere, and mm -hmm. yeah, so mm -hmm. very, very surprised. It's a beautiful little sail now. Yeah, and the tide is not helping us at no, all. No, not at all. It's running across our yeah. path, so it's not doing anything for us. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's a good mm -hmm. little boat. She is. I'll spin you around. Yep. So there's a charter boat we've got to keep an eye on. Charter boat? <laughs> what charter boat? <laughs> oh God. And charter boat? What chat about? <laughs> <laughs> what chat about? A barefooter. I, I think it's the start of school holidays here in Queensland, so I think all the mums and the children and, and dads are out on the water, it, or, or it seems like. We were leaving the Nara Inlet and there was boat after boat after boat heading in, so yeah. it's, it was like a parking. Repeating the tide of boats that rushes in, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. Uh -huh. They all leave. Like in groups of about three or four, literally yeah. at the same time they pull our anchor and they go, which is very interesting. It's like, go, go, go now, all of us at once. So I don't know if they're friends and family or if they just have similar timing, part of the herd. And they all leave. And then the anchorage, the whole narrow inlet was boat free for about 20 minutes. <laughs> That's right. And then the first stragglers <laughs> came in. The, exactly. <laughs> so yeah. it's, it's a constant. Yeah. So. Yeah. But we had a wonderful sail now, didn't we? No wind at all first, and now we're yes. it's beautiful, just whatever that is, 10 knots, and we're just... Yeah, we're doing 5 knots, Yeah, which is nice. It's fantastic. Ben is still thinking about putting up spinnaker, <laughs> but decided to be nice and lazy. Spinnaker! It's a magic spinnaker! He's <laughs> like, but, but it's only a 2 hour sail, I can't mm. be bothered. <laughs> yeah, well, by the time I put it up and <laughs> tweak it, and by the time we got to take it down, it'll be up 40 minutes or something. <laughs> I'm not that quick with it yet. But, oh, yeah. I understand that. But we're heading into early, we're going to restock and yeah. get some water and yeah. etc. I haven't been here for 10 years, um, so it will be nice to see how the place has changed yeah. and um, yeah. how it developed. Yeah, it's how certainly long... the most expensive marina we've been to so far, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, I guess that's sort of bye bye with Sundays. I think they're all sleeping, warm in the sun, just coming into early marina in front of us, a lot of boats. Skipper Ben, concentrating fully. Yeah, we're 
we're getting close. It's sort of getting time to put the fenders in and get you in position. Alrighty. Off I go. What's going on? Are you putting me on record? I am. <laughs> I'll show everyone what I'm doing. I'm putting Dominica on record because she's been um, folding washing today. Oh, God. And this is what it looks like when Dominica folds the washing. <laughs> Have a look at that. That would look like that for about a day, I think. I, I don't dare to touch it because I can never get that that degree of order in there again. And it's just magnificent. That's not all. You think you've seen it all? You haven't. I'll take you through to here. And this one. <laughs> How about that? That's the underwear and the socks. Isn't that brilliant? Thanks, Dominica. Yeah, you're welcome. You've got your desk to clean now. I am touching uh -oh. that. <laughs> That's pilot's berth. No, not berth. Um, Table. Navigation table. Navigation yeah. table. Yeah. I'll get there. <laughs>